All right, great one there. Moving on, let's come back to the Center of Excellence, Lagos, for the fashion show by designer Feiyi Adeyemi, which brought fashion lovers together. Take a look. The Nigerian fashion industry has continued to get a boost, with creative ideas being turned into reality by designers who are determined to take the Nigerian fashion industry to the next level. It's yet another day for fashion lovers to see a rich display of creativity at its finest at this fashion show, organized by designer Feiyi Adeyemi. It's an exclusive event and all the guests are having an amazing time as it gets underway. They start by admiring collections and on the other hand, the models are already giving life to the designs. The runway boasts of different styles, patterns, colors, and cuts, traditional and contemporary designs, and so much more to the delight of the guests. Thank you so much, everyone. The white collection, the white. design my environment inspire it then and two I love working with lace so I think the combination of my environment and lace just gave me this design because I noticed everybody's working with Afri African print and I want to do something different yeah so I'd rather go with lace. <laughs> Lux Meets Modest is the name of the collection which caters for women of all sizes and shapes. Please feel free to go to the back we have a lot of things for you to buy, a lot of clothes, a lot of designs. Very lacy, um, very contemporary. Um, I, think they, I think they're nice, <laughs> they're nice. They're doing amazing things, you know, and uh, I would say personally like that maybe 60% of what I wear is made locally. You know, sometimes I go out and stumble into something, but I really, I take things from here to go and wear outside. Yeah, I'm very proud of the industry. There's tremendous improvement. Lace dominates the fabrics used by the designer, giving that extra touch of class. Nigerian fashion industry, you know, I believe we can compete with some of the best. I believe we can compete with the rest of the world. We are at a stage now, you know, just um, by Faye Adiemi being over here, Fe, sorry, Faye Shola Adiemi being over here, you know, she's showing you that being in the diaspora doesn't really mean anything. It means that we can mingle and we can intertwine with the international market, but still represent Africa and still represent Nigeria. that she's playing with a lot of lace, 
like when I think of Liz, I usually think of like Robuba or like Ashebi, you know. But she brought it with a lot of, you know, style, glam. So yeah, brilliant. The fashion industry the is a lot of competition. So it's just like the acting world. Um, but why, with her yes, work, it will speak for her. Says, if you have good designs, um, wherever you are, people will find you. They'll always come for you. Everyone here agree on one thing, that the fashion industry is growing and the designers are working hard, but more support is needed. We need, we need the government to come up with some, um, some rules and regulations that would really back you know, the industry and support the designers, the manufacturers. That's all we're looking at. It's not so much, we don't have any problem about people being creative. You have a lot of very young people, very young creative people, very young, you know, vibrant creative minds out there. But what we're saying is that they need a platform. They need to sell these clothes. They don't need to have people copying them. They need to be original. People need to wear them. People need to acknowledge, you know, the designers. And then we also need you know, that um, relationship with the government. So it's time, we need a knife, please. Fashion icon Princess Abba Folawiyo recently clocked 75. So the event was yet another opportunity to honor her for her contribution to the industry. Two, three, happy birthday, my happy birthday. <laughs> Oh, I feel fulfilled, happy. At 75 and everybody is celebrating me, what else do I want? Thanks be to God. I'm very, very happy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I mean, she's been so consistent in this industry. You know, she has remained my source of inspiration. She's as um, stylish today as she was when I met her like over 40 years ago. You understand? And uh, when she was running that uh, industry called La Banella, you know, when she was actually designing, I, I was like an ambassador. I wore a lot of her outfit, especially the culottes. You know, so um, I like her. She's my source of inspiration. She's remained very timeless. She's a fashion icon, and she's also a life patron of the Fashion Designer Association of Nigeria. She deserves it. The woman is highly talented, she's very intelligent, and she's very creative. And even at her old age, she still makes some things for herself. And she gives designs to younger people. When you see them all around her, she's telling you, no, that doesn't look nice. You know, they have eyes for details. This is where they people with the eyes for details. We're not talking about just making back, 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 and everybody is on the street. No, these are people with eyes for details and feet. In. They know what it means for clothes to fit on your body. And I'm glad that I was here to witness it. You know, knock on wood, she stays around with us for a long time. Uh, we thank her for, you know, her contribution to the industry as well. So, and she looked amazing. 75, 75. I always thought 75, I'd be like Julian. She rolled up regal as you wanna. I loved it. So yeah, she looked amazing, and yeah, that was very deserving, of course. What I would like to know, she's an icon. She's been in the industry for a very long time, and I remember as a rookie journalist growing up, I used to cover her events, shows, and um, she she's out, she has also also inspired a lot of um, designers. So I think he deserves it and even more. In all, it was a fun evening that appreciated the creativity of Nigerian designers and most importantly, celebrating one of those who paved the way for these designers to follow years ago.